Hey yo, friend Arenos, welcome to Durgy Be Play Never Oasis. I am Tadurgan, as you know, and uh, I hope y'all are hoi as hoiped for this Let's Play as I am. Uh, I love this game. It's a rather underrated gem in my eyes. There's a lot of great uh, mechanics in it. There's a lot of great music in it. Listen to this title theme. There's a lot of great epic music in it, whimsical and fun music in it. There's a lot of great characters. There's a lot of lovely graphical aesthetic in this game. There's there's some fun and interesting gameplay stuff that really keeps me engaged. Um, and there's a lot of endgame um, that, you know, people have varying opinions on, I, I am aware. Uh, that have played the game, but, you know, I, I like the end game. I've never finished it because it's so much, but I honestly would love to for this Let's Play. Just, you know, sit down for the however many hours it'll take and just finish all the end game content, but we won't be getting there for a while, of course, because we're going to be Let's Playing the whole thing. But, um, yeah, I've played this game a couple of times before, gotten to, you know, the end game point and never really got too far after that. Um, there's even more story, I do believe, after I've gotten to before. But, again, like, that's, you know, that that's a ways away, friendos. Um, for now, let's just enjoy the journey with its, its amazing, lovely characters and its fun, whimsical aesthetic and also just the epic, you know, fantasy story. Um, along with it, there's just so many great things about this game, in my opinion, and so much creativity and fun, and I, I love the aesthetic, the desert aesthetic, the fantasy. There's so much I want to, to kind of share with y'all that I love about this game, so let's do it. We will be playing a male character. We'll be playing a, playing a blue boy with blue eyes. Wow. I actually normally play some females, uh, f play female characters, but... I wanted to play a male for this for really just two reasons. One, I have never played a male character, so I've never seen how all of the outfits look on the male uh, main character. So I'm interested in that. And also, I love the clothing aesthetic in this game, just general. There's a lot of really cool-looking clothing later, too. Um, also, number two, I am a male, and I feel like for y'all's immersion and just chill toy me factor, and I definitely want this to be just a fun let's play to relax to for y'all. Um, you know, like, it just makes sense that male character, male dude play in the video game, so. Anywho. Now, not every Let's Play I do that require, that allows you to choose gender, I'll, I'll play a male, but for the purposes of this one, you know, there's a couple reasons. So, of course, I'm just gonna name myself Durg. Because that's, that's who's playing the video game, that's who's going on this journey with y'all right now, so let's do it. Begin the story. Ah, I love this. I love the facial expressions. There's so many great ones. There's so many. I, I love the sheer expression, uh, expressiveness of the characters in this game too. There's you'll see so much hopping up and down in joy, literally, and just so much fun, lovely expression. Long ago, the land was nothing more than desolate sand and harsh sun. By the way, this is one of my favorite game intros ever. Actually, just the way it's written. And the way that it, it presents itself in this 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 lovely simplistic art style up there too. Creatures known as seedlings called this vast desert home. This whole game is just very aesthetically pleasing to me, and this this intro is no different, even though it is very different looking than the rest of the game. These gentle beings are born with a tiny seed buried deep in their hearts. This actually kind of reminds me of the Borderlands games and how their intros are kind of structured like like these kind of paper stories and then the rest of the game is a highly stylized, colorful thing. But a different, very different vibe of game, of course. With the blessing of water, they harvested their seeds, gradually inviting greenery to the desert. This game is a lot more family-friendly, too. Everywhere in the desert, an entity known as Chaos ravaged the land. And I love being able to just storybook read stuff like this. To y'all, it's just a fun part of Let's Playing to me. This chaos subsumed the souls of living creatures, transforming them into feral monsters. By the way, I love... Um, I love that part of the lore. You're not actually killing these creatures, you're just getting the chaos out of them, and then they just 
hop and skip away in their cute little animals. I love it. The seedlings lived in constant fear of the formless, erratic chaos. Seedling hugs. Look at them. Scared, scared peeps. Huggle. One day, a brave seedling rose up, protecting all from chaos with the seed of a great tree. This seedling of the great tree al allied with a water spirit to create an oasis of exceeding beauty, crested by a rainbow. The light of the opalescent rainbow enveloped the oasis, driving chaos to the fringes. I'm just taking in the beauty of this cutscene right now. And making sure I read things good for y'all. Since then, seedlings born with the gift of the great tree have risen up, growing lush oases the desert wide. Seedlings have been able to thrive and provide safety and sustenance to weary travelers with respect to the great tree. And here we are. I freaking love this town theme. Da -da 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 -da. We'll be hearing it a lot, but it's cool because to me it does not get old and stuff. Anyway, good morning, Derek. You're looking well. Why, thank you, you too, Nor. I was hoping you could help me out with my chiefly duties today. As a child of the great tree, Derek, one day you'll need to go out and make your very own oasis. In order to prepare for you for that day, we've got to get you trained up as a proper chief. Derek, I have a favor to ask of you. There's been an influx of sand blustering into the garden, inhibiting our crop's growth. Derg, show me what you've got. Use Green Gale to sweep up the area. Okay, you've got the directive? Now get out there. Alrighty. Let's go the totally right way first. I just love doing this first, always. It's just a fun little ritual I have by now. Because I've started this game so many times. Derg, hey, where are you going? The garden's in the opposite, in the opposite direction. <laughs> so excitable, this one. That is true. I am an excitable Durgan. Wow. Let's talk to these these guardsmen over her. Oi, Derg. Main road's not accessible right now. Yeah, we're decking this place out for the festival tomorrow. We'll be finished up pretty soon. Alrighty, thank you. I'll just go ahead for Nora's task then. By the way, I'll kind of be role-playing a lot, you know, in town and stuff. Just because it's just fun. And this game, I'd say, lends itself to it. Just generally, just interacting with them in a, in a natural-seeming way. Kind of like how I would in real life, too. Just as a fun little addition to how I play this, instead of just being a, a, a gameplay. Press and hold the Y button, then release to perform Green Gale. Wee, wee! Wow, we can blow sand away and stuff. And Green Gale is very interesting in a lot of mechanical ways later in the game, and I love that. In combat, out of combat, and puzzle stuff, pretty cool. You know what ain't cool though? That big purple doom plant of doom. What an odd and ominous plant! Best to get rid of it. Huh? Gah. Oh no, my green gill ain't strong enough. Halp! Dirk, quickly, get away from that plant! I'm a sad boy, hug. How could this massive chaos plant have taken root here? Whatever the reason, there's no time to waste. I need to uproot it immediately. It's okay, friends, Nor is a strunk boy with a strunker green gill than Durgy has right now. So he's got it. Well, ah, now everything's hap again. Hap and beautiful. That's better. The air already feels cleaner and calmer, eh? That plant you just saw is a chaos plant. It contains a ton of negative energy. It can only be destroyed with extra strong wind. Someday when you're Chief Derg, you'll have an even more powerful Green Gale too. Yay! Ah, I'm a happy boy. I love it. You did an exciting job cleaning up the area, Derg. Nice work. Here's a little something for you. Why don't you use it up at the festival tomorrow? Sounds like a beautiful idea. We received a hundred duodems. Yeah, I am on a... Ah! I love the jumps for joy. They're so cute. I love them. 
I love this game and its its characters and its expressiveness and its atmosphere and its aesthetics and its music and yeah, I love this game. Derek, why don't you take some time to talk to everyone on the main road now? They'd love to sh to chat, I'm sure. Check back in with me after you've spoken to all the Bloom Booth shopkeepers and people hanging around the main road. We'll do, we'll do. All right, go say hi to everyone, please. Okay. Ah, there's the dragon. Uh, I also love that budding, um, money-making sound. All right, so what's beautiful is we have a little shortcut for the main road in the form of this right here. I could circle back around, but this is Fiester. Well, let's talk to these peeps. Hi, Connie. By the way, I love all the races in this game and how they're represented. My favorite is one of the others, which I will be pointing out as soon as I... I will I will go and talk to one of the specimens of them um, in a second here. By the way, I apologize. My mic fell over there a bit ago. Sorry for that boomy sound. I'm sure you all heard, but... um, You see, things are so mysterious. You have the rare ability to grow an entire oasis. It's something completely out, of, completely out of the realm of possibility for my kind, so it never ceases to amaze me. It never ceases to amaze me how much, how many beans are in this video game. Beanie, beanie human beans. Or not human beans, but uh, sentient beans? Yeah, let's go with that. But um, these are like bunny people, um, and I love them, and they're cute. And here's another seedling. Hi, Tempo. Oasis are vital to protecting life from the threat of chaos. And there's so much we don't know of this chaos. It can absorb life entirely. I don't really know what that entails, but it sounds super spooky. It totally freaks me out. Yeah, it's, uh, warranted. And it, you know, it really does a good job of freaking the player out sometimes, too, I'd say. At least in my experience, at least at first. Sophie, by the way, this is my favorite race here. These, uh, race here, these lizard girls, which I don't remember the names of either of the races, but I I remember I loved the names of all the races. I also love all of the super awesome high fantasy names in this game, like Nor and Tempo, and we'll be seeing a bunch more really cool names in the game that, like, yeah, Sophie's rather generic, but, you know, it just works, especially for a super cute laid-back game like this. It's, it, it's laid-back at times, anyway, especially in the town portions. The water spirit lives in the spring at the center of the oasis. From there, she watches over us and over and protects us. Only the chief in the array, only the chief of the oasis can converse with her, though. I wish I could see her even just once. Ah, uh, Sophie hug. And who is this? Oh yeah, Connie. So once again, another generic name, but it's all good. And there's a newt. I love the newts. They're cute little owl boys and girls, owl people, and I love them. Anyone else on on the main road here? Yes. Jagir. Again, these names. I love them. Hey, Dirk. Did you finish up today's training? Sweet. Here, I want you to have this. I tried synthesizing it yesterday. You received two vulner vulneraries, also known as the, the default name for medicine in Japanese games, almost. Beautiful. Do -do 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 -do. On the way here, I was chased by a chaos monster, Zamza, by the way. And by the way, these are crab people. Crab people taste like crab, talk like people. No, um, they're different crab people. They're, you know, they're of course they're a di they're they have a name in this game. I just forget it, forget it. But I remember I love the names of the races in this game. There's a lot of really great background lore too. On the way here, I was chased by a chaos monster. I nearly lost a pincer. Traveling through the desert is no joke. I shudder to think the heart, uh, think of the desert without the refuge of oases. Ooh, scary. Another newt, cute, a cute newt. Woot. Talk to everyone on the main road as your brother uh, asked you to. Okay, which means we also need to do the shops. I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't any more that way, and there was not. Oh, hey, welcome. Be sure to stop by my place tomorrow. I'll feed you the best donut ever. Thank you. Actually, I don't know. Wait, hold on. I think the bubble means yes. I still need to press the chat button. Derg, your brother is quite impressive. He built such a great oasis in the desert here. You've got to keep working hard so that you can become as great a chief as your brother. Perhaps even greater. I will. Don't worry about that. Be sure to stop by my place tomorrow. I'll feed you the best donut ever. Yeah, I thank you. Oh, hey. Welcome. I see all the newts are getting ready right out front for the festival tomorrow. They're small, but they're very generous and like to buy lots of goods. They're some of my regular customers. 
And Newt's is actually like a pretty important uh, demographic for you to pay attention to later in the game. It, they're they're def they're tied to a mechanic, and I love the the mechanics they're tied to, and they're, it's very interesting, keeps you engaged. But anyway, come again, okay? We'll do. Do 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 do. Bookstore. Hey, welcome. Hello there, Harimau. By the way, these names again. I also love the desert garb. Whoops. And also, the, the backgrounds are pretty darn detailed and vibrant uh, for a game like this. Especially because I'm sure they didn't have, like, a budget out the wazoo, but for what they had, there's definitely a lot of, um, of, um, of production value for this era. Especially once we start exploring, it was clear they had a lot of production value. The chief delivered materials to me yesterday, so I have t so now I have tons of books. By the way, I love these uh, the bottom screen designs. They're very just pleasing. I I I, I always have loved these kind of tribal symbols types types of uh, of art. Um, and someone took time to do that too, even though it's probably one of the simpler uh, parts of the game's aesthetic. But it's it's still worth. It's still really, really worth pointing out, I'd say, because it's really pleasing to the eye. Like, the whole game is well-designed, IMO. The chief really looks after us. I can't thank him enough. See ya. Come again. Look shop. Oh, Dirk, are you done with your training already? Chat. Ah, cute, cute. Those who can create an oasis, the children of the great tree... You're going to become just like your brother someday. <laughs> I can't really imagine that just yet, though. Chloe, hug. I, I love her. I love the purple aesthetic. The purple eyes and her purple skin. For some reason, she's particularly cute to me that way. Do, 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 do. There's the, the particular colors of her. It's hard to explain why. Oh, I really like her, too. And the, the kind of peekaboo thing she's got going on with her hat. Oh, oh welcome. I am me. Aim? I'm probably- I'm gonna go with Amy. That sounds about right. But I like the spelling. It's very... exotic. It's kind of- kind of like her- her garb there. Which I really like the look of. I love... Like, there's a lot of imagination that went into this game. You can tell already, and I love that. I love when designs in games are just not generic at all. And part of why I love Japanese games is a lot of them seem to really go out of their way to make designs, especially character designs and character clothing designs that are super unique. Um, the artists really go to town, and I love that about these these JRPGs. Can't wait for tomorrow's festival. I've prepared lots of things to sell. You want to shop? <laughs> you gotta wait until tomorrow. Okay, okay. See you tomorrow, Dirk. Alright, uh, yep, there we go. I'll finish talking to people out on the main road. Better report back to your big brother. Will do. Hi, Noah. Thank you for checking on checking on everyone, Derek. Were they all doing well? Yep, yep. They were. Ah, good, good. Glad to hear they're all happy. Ah! I love this man. He clearly cares a lot for us. I love his white hair. Um, and his... His... The big gem on his... Um... On his uh, forehead and the look of his horns, with the cool like gold ornaments on them, with the the blue tassels hanging down, so cool. There's just so much really just awesome aesthetic in this game. Ah, I'm a thirsty boy. Gotta drink your water, friendos, especially out in the desert like this. <laughs> Check it out. You see the rainbow growing bright, gl glowing brightly over there? I sure do. I don't think you can miss it. It's a beautiful and big and loud sight there, and it's it's all it's all shimmery. Listen to that shimmery sound. It's beautiful. That whoom, I can't even mimic the the ringy sound, but I love it. I love the sound design in this game in general. I really do. So long as that rainbow radiates, the oasis is protected from the destructive power of chaos. The peace, joy, and calm felt by our residents sustains the rainbow's luminosity. Wah! <laughs> Apologies, friends. I'm good. I just dropped my 3DS off my desk on a stand somehow. 
Welcome to Welcome to being you know, sometimes a clumsy boy, but it's okay. Do you understand, Dirk? Without the happiness of the people, the oasis would succumb to chaos. Maybe I can learn to be less clumsy just in general. But for now, sometimes I still fumble things, and that's okay. Uh, quite quite often, honestly, but that's okay. So that anyone can find refuge and solace, it's important to make your oasis a, a place of peace. As children of the great tree, that is our most important duty. Someday soon, it'll be time for you to venture out into the desert and create your own oasis. A bit sooner than 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 normal, actually, I'm afraid. Whoops, spoilers. Um, and when that time comes, I have no doubt that people will come from far and wide to be part of it. Durg, now you must go out and seek companions who are brave and who will stick by your side through it all. You're very pure of heart, Durg. I believe your ability as an oasis chief will surpass my own. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much, Nor. That is a beautiful compliment. Especially coming from you, I would say. Just, you know, everything I know about him, he's just a stand-up dude. Huh? What was that rumbling? Also, ominous stuff. If the music stops, oftentimes that's when you know in a video game that Shiznit be going down. And cue ominous music. This is... No, this is the second time we've heard this, I think. But yeah, it's the oh Shiznit music, is what I like to call it. What could that have been? It didn't look friendly. Dirk, I've got to hurry and check in with everyone. Uh, all right. By the way, I love this cutscene. Just in general, the way it's the way it's designed. Also, rip, hug everyone. I'm sorry. I hope everyone's okay. Yeah, but I don't think they are. I think everyone dies here. Actually, oops, spoilers. Except for us, because you know, pro tag. But when the the mean design of that thing has always been cool to me as heck. Ah. Uh, Hugs for door. Dirk, you must flee. Live on. You must create a new oasis. Great wind, you carry our only hope on your wings. Now, please, Nor, I can help you. Rippity rip rip rip. You better survive, nor gosh dang it. By the way, that scene is so cool. The classic anime, like, visible energy clash thing. I've always loved it. I love her design so much. The last oasis swallowed by chaos. Ah, oh, hello there, little friend. You're all alone you're all alone too? I see. It sounds like you and I are not so different. Just a bit ago, a distant oasis was swallowed by whole by the chaos. And now, it seems I'm the only water spirit left in the entire desert. What should I do, little friend? I'm the last of my kind, and I can't make an oasis alone. Thankfully... Deus Ex Machina... We arrive. In our safety ball thing. What is... Hmm? That's a strong buggy. You go, bud. Oh, what's this now? What's happening? Could it could it be? It's 
It could indeed and is a seedling. Whoa, what, what, where am I? Aha, I knew it. It is a seedling after all. Yep, hi, hello. Uh my my uh my oasis just died, but here I am. Well, I can I can see you, you know. Wait, you you can see me? Yep. Then that means you're a child of the great tree. Hello little one, my name is Esna. I'm a water spirit. And I'm fucking cute. Look at my freaking facial expression, right? I always love the closed eyes like smile thing in anime, you know, in in Japanese is Japanese games and mo and and anime and stuff. I've always loved that. It's so cute. Ah. And what's your name? My name's Durgi. Dur my name's Durg. Durg, what a wonderful name. I've called a few of my characters Durgi recently, so, you know. Anywho. Mix up there. Say, Durg, why did you turn into a seed? Well, uh, my, my oasis died. My brother kind of, you know, winded me over here, basically. Oh no, the oasis that was devastated, that was home to you and your brother, who must be a chief if he can do that windy thing so good, right? Your poor thing must still be in shock. And with your oasis gone, I'm the last of the water spirits. What will you do now, Dirk? Well, I'll try to build another oasis, I guess. I see, your brother was mentoring you and he told you to make your own oasis, did he? I imagine you're working hard to live up to your brother's high expectations of you. Yeah. You know, I... I want to make an oasis too. Well, you're a water spirit, so that's perfect. An oasis that will thrive for all time and will stand strong against chaos. So that everyone who needs refuge will find it here. So that others, who, others can feel safe and happy. We all deserve that, I believe. I agree. I agree very much, Esna. Together, Dirk, we can accomplish that, and so much beyond it, even. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Ah, yes, yes, thank you, Dirk. Ah! I love her. Esna is Bean, I love. I love this scene, by the way. She's so kind, I love her. Definitely one of my favorite characters in this, and that's saying something. There's quite a few great ones. I love this song, by the way, and this scene. So whimsical, happy, fantastical, wonderful. Really gets your imagination going and just gives you this warm, fuzzy, Durkin feel. And a lot of this game does that, and I love it so much. Man, I love the, like... It's amazing that they were able to get this done. Like, it must have took so long to animate this, right? I love... I love video games. There's so much you can aesthetically do with them that really draws you in, you know? I love them, man. And there we go. It's just like our brothers. Just like Norris. Hugs for that boy, I hope he's okay. Look, 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 see, look at our sprouting oasis. Way beautiful, lovely, wondrous. We've done it! We've made our very own oasis! We've got to work together to create a thriving environment here. With enough effort, it's sure to be a bustling hub of activity. I know we can do it. Yay. So let's take a look at what our toil is sown, huh? Yeah. Ooh. And here we are, just like our brothers. Wow, it's so beautiful. You're beautiful, Esna. I love you. Hmm, I wonder what lies beyond that path. I want to come with you, but water spirits are bound to their springs. I 
I have an idea. Hey, Kepri, that's your name, right? Will you accompany Durg in my stead? The water orb that Kepri carries is infused with my power, and my giggles are also infused with power of just sheer cuteness. I love them, goddamn. Um, <laughs> through it, I'm able to see and hear what you do. It's a shame I can't come along, but this way I'll enjoy your adventures vicariously and still be able to help, Dirk. Yay! Yay! Now let's go on an, on, on an oasis adventure together, Dirk. Yay! Sounds like a beautiful time. I love that pose. She's so cute. Oh my gosh. And we already have Elvius Ator. Amazing! Lily, hello. This place, could it be? Yes, it is. There's an oasis here now. A cheerful, energetic girl who came to the oasis just after it was created. Hello, Lily. Information re about the seating Lily has been registered. Resident list. The resident list allows you to see information such as the skills and favorite things in vo of an oasis, re of oasis residents and visitors. Also, news of strangers will be recorded as rumors. I love I love all the music in this game. It looks like someone is already here. Let's go see who it is. Tutorial time. <laughs> Whoopsie. I'd rather not drop him three yes stand there. Yeah. It's like your first traveler is on the main pathway. Go see who it is. Wait, uh, game. Wow, it wasn't letting me talk to her because she, she went way too far in the doorway. S so your name's Dirk. I'm Lily. Nice to meet you. I thought all this, all the oasis had vanished, but obviously I was mistaken. Yet I see no bloom booths here, and there don't seem to be any residents. I get it. This place is still new. That's why there are no residents yet. People who live in the oasis together are called residents. And the shops opened by seedling residents are called bloom booths. There are many travelers who will visit the oasis just for the bloom booths. I'd love to help here if I could, but I don't have the materials I'd need to sell merchandise in a bloom booth. If only I had some roseberries. To do list. Story missions are displayed in red as you progress through the story. General 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 requests from people in need are displayed in blue. In addition to important story missions, you can also track one request at a time. Press A to activate a request and track it with a blue symbol. Check the to-do list by touching the to-do but to-do button on the touch screen. You can only activate requests within the oasis. Before you Leave the oasis. Be sure to activate the request you want to take care of. Alrighty. Do activate Lily's request. Yes. Activate a request from Lily. Bloombooks merchants. When a traveler likes the oasis, he or she may become a resident. She in this case. Seedling residents can build bloom booths in the oasis. Having a variety of merchandise available at bloom booths will draw more attention. To, more will draw more travelers to the oasis. Dirk, it's me. Our little friend Kepri acts, acts as a channel, so now we can speak no matter where you are. Yay. Well, I'm so pleased that we already have a visitor. We've got to grow lots of bloom booths to attract more travelers. Hmm, how do we do that, though? We should make Lily a resident and help her grow, grow, grow a bloom booth. She said she needed roseberries, right? Perhaps there are some growing around the oasis. Let's seek them out. And thankfully, it's pointing us right in the direction we need to be for that. Just 
move some stuff around, make this a little more comfy for me to be doing here. Oh yeah, that's better. That's nice. Use green gale to knock fruit out of fruit trees. Fruit trees bear fruit every day. Which is handy for us, because it'll have roseberries in it right now for the purposes of the tutorial. Which is beautiful. Yay, you found roseberries! Dirk, hurry and bring them to Lily. By the way, there will be more plants in the garden, uh, generally. More different types of plants, too, that do um, helpful things for you and grow different types of stuff you need. Because you'll start needing a lot of materials soon. <laughs> oh, boy. But, hello. There's also going to be features that'll help you expedite the gardening, too, which is very handy. What's up, Dirk? I'm just puttering around here. Give Roseberry time, sir? Yes, please. Here you go. What? Roseberries? You got those for me? Also, I love her her voice. I love a lot of the Japanese uh, um, voice acting here. It just really fits into the super cute, bubbly aesthetic of the game. Cute and whimsical. By the way, I love her headdress. The light blue always does it for me. And I love the combination of white of light blue, a darker blue, yellow, and white, too. And the... Uh, the lovely light blue and gold gem on her on her head, on a, on her forehead there, um, and then and then her her green and blue eyes are also just very beautiful. Also, really help it really like matches uh, well with that collary thing she's got on top of her or of her top there too. That's amazing. Thank you. Looks like a dress that she's wearing there. You've got a token of thanks, healing fruit. Hehe, <laughs> Derek, you're, you're, you're too kind. Ah! Having a wonderful person like you as the chief gives me confidence that the, this oasis has a bright future. Oh, well, thank you. You're a wonderful person, dang it. Thank you for coming to my oasis and wanting to help. So I've decided that I'd like to be a resident of this oasis. If you'll have me, of course. Well, he, heck ye ye. Heck ye 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 ye. The seedling Lily has become a resident of the oasis. Fruit shop can now be grown. Yeah, we can now we can now have an, a lovely fruit stand for some delicious fruit seeds. Well, wonderful! Our very first resident. Now then, it's about time you help Lily grow her bloom booth. Tap the bloom booth icon on the touch screen to open the bloom booth screen. From there, you can build bloom booths in the oasis. Do 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 do. I just realized I lost my stylus. Oh, I'll find it later. I can use my thumb for now. Don't you guys... I'm sure y'all can relate to that. I was gonna say, don't you guys hate that, but I really want to build a positive atmosphere here, so I'm going to try to say as little of that kind of stuff as possible. It'll probably also help my disposition, too. Tap the blue, Bloom Booth icon on the touch screen to open the Bloom Booth screen. From there, you can build Bloom Booths in the Oasis. I'm not going to try. I am going to do that stuff less. I give myself no choice. Um, and you know what's beautiful is, yeah, you can really hold yourself to a lot more things than a lot of times you probably think you can at first. It just takes a lot of practice, and the more of those things you hold yourself to, the better your confidence gets, the more happy you are with life in general. It's beautiful. Um, on the Bloom Booth screen, you can build Bloom Booths for seedlings who have become residents. Duodems are necessary the first time. Move the analog stick to select a spot and press A to see a list of items you can place there. Select Lily's fruit stand and try building that bloom booth. Alrighty. I know for a fact that I'll have to build it here. I can't build it on that one tile there, so perfect. Or the game could decide to crash. Um, there we go. We were back where we were before and let's not crash this time, eh? I love these little cutscenes, by the way. You can skip these, but I actually would rather skip a lot of the other ones than this one. Well, I mean, the only reason I wanted to skip any of them is because I actually had just gotten there, but I feel like some of these do get repetitive later. And not just these, the other types of cutscenes too, but... Eh, very minor thing that 
doesn't need to ruin my fun and doesn't <laughs> I love this game Yay, my balloon booth is complete. Now I must work hard to sell loads of fun, loads of fruit. Yeah, I... Yeah, I, uh, happy, happy grill. Beautiful. Lovely, wondrous. I've never seen a balloon booth with my own eyes before. It's adorable. And this is just the first of many. Indeed. Cute, 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 cute. The sun has dipped below the horizon. Best to head home and rest up, Dirk. Your bed is in the tree near the spirit shrine. Run along now. Alrighty, let's go there and get some Dirk and rest all. Whoops. There we go. Well. I love the way this place looks at night. I love this night theme, too, so much. God, there's so many great things about this game to me. By the way, we get to see up there. We'll see We'll see what we do up there pretty soon. We'll get a tutorial of it pretty soon. It's a pretty interesting mechanic, by the way. For getting gear and stuff. You'll, you'll we'll see later if you don't already know. Look at this lovely tree. How about making this room your room? Very sounds like a good idea. Whenever you need, you can rest up here. Sounds beautiful. Press A near the hammock and you're home to sleep. You can move time forward until morning or save your progress. And we will do just that. We will save our progress. And I will see y'all in the next episode. I hope y'all have enjoyed. And I have enjoyed recording this definitely, for sure. Um, so I'm going to be uh, back, like, tomorrow. I'm going to try to upload one of these a day. And, and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next episode, friends. Yeetle.